What's up, everybody? This is Jose. And Katie. Welcome to beautiful Venice, Florida. This is so gorgeous. Just like Naples, where I'm from. Love it here. Beautiful, beautiful place. We're within uh, the plantation area. This is to the east. I'm gonna need a map open on that. Just kind of like to the east. You're gonna wear your seatbelt, baby. <laughs> Keep my white woman safe. Yeah. Kind of east of Venice, there's a lot of new homes being built, new communities. We actually did a video when they were building some of these communities, so it's been a while since we've been in here. Yeah. Obviously, gorgeous, gorgeous settings. New homes. Um, spectacular, spectacular setting. If you got money, this is the way you want to live. <coughs> I'm totally out of breath with the whole red tide thing going around here. It's pretty high right now. Yeah. So don't mind me. I am just mm -hmm. about to have an asthma attack, basically. It is bad. So how far are we from Dirt Dutchman? Well, it's just outside of Sarasota. Sarasota's not too far from here. This is one of the most balling places you can live. Let's just be clear about that. I like the one-story houses. For one, look how pretty this is. And then yeah. you got mm -hmm. golf courses all around. You also got like lakes. I feel like fishing. Mm -hmm. Fishing's my hobby. These little gated community golf course lakes. Yeah. The bass are like 10 pounds. It's just incredible bass fishing. I like houses that are all on one floor. This is how I want to live right here. I'd rather be all in one floor. I need you to sell seven or eight million dollar houses a year, Katie, so you can get us in here. I'll work on it. And I'll be your housewife. This is life right so here. So if you're looking for a million dollar house in the next, after I get my license, please come talk to me. Dude, this is gorgeous. That's what I, I knew, like, leaving Southwest Florida after, I always su suspected that after living in Southwest Florida, mm -hmm. around rich people and stuff, that we would have a really hard time that moving to a regular place, so because you just get used to the lifestyle down here. Yeah. I almost knew it. Yeah. I know where I've always wanted to live. Look at that van right there. <laughs> yeah. That's, like, literally a house. Yeah. I know where I've always wanted to live. Hi, Aaliyah. I will live there. No. Hi, Aaliyah. No. Kendall. No. Kendall I, Toshota. I actually wouldn't mind Kendall, but no. Here? No. Venice? No. You know, I like Venice more than Naples, to be honest. Mm -hmm. It's more quiet. I'd want to stay in the Fort Myers. I'd stay in the Fort Myers area. Did you really? Yeah, I like Fort Myers. Yeah, we know so many people. Yeah. Look at that Jaguar, man. That thing is fresh. Why are we at a Denon Road? Why are we? Hold on, let's get out of here. <coughs> There's a Robin. Well, We're going to go back to the stock wheels like, as soon as possible. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. New car, $50,000, and now it's the wheels are rubbing. It makes no sense. Stupid hillbilly crap I did. Does it look cool? Yes. Do you need to have tires rubbing? After you spent this kind of money on a car, to put some stupid trashy wheels to look cool on it, and then you're rubbing day one, that's ridiculous. I, I understand I made a mistake. GPS, what are we doing today, by the way? What are you doing? I was supposed to go to landfill. For what? Uh, you didn't see the trailer this morning? No. I was supposed to take a run to the landfill. Oh, I don't know. I'm not doing that today. stuff that was there. Oh. Mm -hmm. Da Vinci Code. Ah. So, at the end of the day, we have to make up our minds on what we're doing. They've been dying for Polk County. That would be alright. 
But I got my new motorcycle. I want to go out front. And I'm sure a buddy of yours would love to do that with you. Is that the Popo? Yeah. I know. Just pretend you're not doing anything illegal. If you don't look like you're breaking the law, you're not. I ain't doing that. Just no. act normal. Couldn't believe what the stock wheels on our car cost. I called the airship and I was like, oh, we need to do that expense. Okay, yeah. If they make sense, they'll make sense. Mm. Well, sometimes you gotta make a mistake to make a mistake. Yeah, if I had money, this is definitely how I would win it. I'm showers already. <coughs> oh, I know why I might be out of breath. They said there was like Sahara Desert sand or something coming today, didn't they? It's been coming. No, it's like really bad today though. Yeah. That's why I like to look at the clouds in the sky. Yeah. Maybe that's why I'm out of breath. Well, there's stuff from California that's getting pushed over here from the fires. Venice police. Yeah. At normal. Pretend you're not breaking the law. If you look normal, they won't pull this over. If you had anything illegal, you got it. Unless you don't break the law, there's nothing to worry about. New Jersey plates on that one. We're from Florida. <clears throat> I'm sure they're like watching our YouTube channel right now. Like, hey, that was us. Yeah. Small world, man. <coughs> this is the type of neighborhood where you get some work. I'm not gonna lie, like living in Naples, working in places like this, and then going back to live in the hood, it's 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 like psychologically depressing after all. Mm -hmm. So okay, why can't I have this type of lifestyle? You got it, why can't I have it? You think you're better than me or something? You think you can live a lifestyle of luxury and not bring me into the pot? I'll find your ugliest daughter and marry her and I'll wiggle my way into this money. I thought your family had a lot more money when I met you. Yeah. It didn't really work out the way I thought it would. Yeah. Okay, when your parents worked at a furniture store and they have the same last name as the furniture store, oh. I thought you guys owned the furniture store. Just because my mom's name and the furniture store was similar did not mean anything. I thought you guys owned that furniture store. No! But her name was the same. No, it wasn't. <coughs> Maybe that's Sahara dust. I've been out of breath since I came to Florida. Like Florida's breathtaking. Oh, Sahara yeah. sand, red tide, California fire smoke. It's just breathtaking down here. one thing about Alabama, even though they're burning their own toilet paper outside, somehow you can breathe better. Trees filter it. There's a lot of trees here. No, not yeah. these sides. I don't know. Like, ever since I came to Florida, I've been out of breath. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm gasping for air, man. Yeah. <clears throat> You've always been allergic to the salt in the water. I don't know what the crap I'm allergic to. I need to see a doctor. An allergenal, ar 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 Yeah, I did that once. What? An allergist. I need to do that. The scratch test. I'm apparently allergic to everything. Is that where they like poke your back with a hundred different stuff? Yeah. Oh crap, no, I ain't doing that. <laughs> how many they came up with a more like, you pay more money to have a blood test done? And can you do that? No, it doesn't work like I think that. when my dad did it, like, you had two options. Like, you could pay more money for, like, a scientific blood test. Or they just stab you with a thousand things you're allergic to all at once. And then your back swells up. What is the point of that? Is that really, like, the most humane thing doctors can come up with? Well, they have to <coughs> test you. 
test it to see if you're reactive to it. First of all, my dad was like screaming in agony. It's like a board of nails and they like hammer into your back. I did I it. Am, I know. I I'm not did doing it. that. I assure you I'm not doing that one. Like if there's a way I can pay them more money and just take it to a lab. It wasn't a board of nails when I did it. They had little like little things and they did just scratch you with it. It wasn't too bad. This, you know how much bass there's got to be in that lake right there? Yeah. Give me an be fishing. Ooh. This is a gorgeous game. From the 200s for real? Yeah. I bet the fees of living here are heavy though. Yeah. This is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. What's this community called? Yeah. Weren't we in here when they were building this or was that a different one? You remember the one where we were looking at? They were like 560 new. The one we did in Sterile Waters. Mm -hmm. Now they're up to like, believe it or not, uh -huh. they're up to like, I think the last time I shipped Wild it, Blue? They're in the, in the 860s now. Mm -hmm. Imagine that. Yeah. Their price is too high. Yeah, anybody who bought one of them. Well, I mean, they, we thought they were priced high when they first built it. Yeah. Now they're $300,000 more. Yeah. Because demand. Man. Supply and demand. You the man. You the man. You the man. You the man, Katie. You the man. <coughs> this is nice. So now we're heading. Where are we going today? We should really try to fix the tire thing. Because I drove to Yukon and it did not drive as smoothly as you told me I did. It's all right, I'm not, I'm not paying, I'm not paying $2,000 to run our pair of stock wheels. I got a lady named Kip Coral that has a pair for like $900. Mm -hmm. That might be an option. Or let's just screw it. Like, they messaged you back. The lady named Kip Coral? Yeah. Is she really? Mm-hmm. What's she saying? I love how like when we meet people, they're like, oh, you're Hispanic and you drive that. They don't say it that way. But they're like, what do you do for a living? I'm like, I married a white woman. <laughs> like, what do you do for a living, Jose? Because yeah, you know, that's a brand new Chevrolet. How do you do uh, how do you how do you do that? Yeah. I'm like, well I married a white woman. Yeah, it makes sense now. Yeah. Yeah, see. Muscled your way into wealth. So you've done well for yourself. That is hilariously true. Everybody with me, they're like, oh, how do you afford these things? I'm like, yeah. I don't ask you how do you afford these things. Like, well, well, why do you expect us to be able to? Because you're Hispanic. How do you afford these things? Tired of being pushed around and started pushing back a little bit. How's that? Sarasota National. AT4s. Oh, they got a lift kit on them, see? They're about two inches higher than this, so the wheels off of that one for this. Are we farther than the dealership where we bought a truck? We can try to figure this conundrum out. What? Are we far from the dealership where we bought this truck to try to figure out this conundrum? Nope, we're not too far. But they, they said they were $500 a piece. That's like, so 2000 for the wheels and then tires would be like $2,400. We're better off going to Cape Coral and just getting the wheels off a lady and putting those on the new car. Dang it, dude. Or just putting these back on and saying screw it, like it doesn't matter. I mean, we're just gonna use something. What are we gonna do with the Yukon now? Like we have to decide what we're gonna do with the Yukon. The Yukon has had some issues. No, it hasn't. The only issue it's had yeah. is all stupid crap we've done to it by lifting the suspension. Yeah. If we had just left it stock, it would be freaking fine. Yeah. If we had left it fine, we wouldn't have bought this one. Yeah. And you decided you wanted to jack it up. 
That was all you. Don't blame me for your mistakes, women.